the government. Yes. Section eight, food stamps, Medicaid, yeah. all that. That's 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 what we adopted. We, we adopted our government. That's our, that's our family now. They're going to take care of me. You know, not the man no more. To be, honest, the government to to be honest, Jordan, I don't have, to, to be honest with you, Jordan, I don't really don't have a problem with that anymore. Before, it used to bother me, but now I get it because a lot of these men ain't doing responsibility anyway. Men today say, I want a woman to take care of me anyway. So, hey, I'm glad the government at least doing their job taking care of these women out here. Because I was recently, there was a story of a woman in Atlanta who recently just got scammed for trying to buy a house for her kids. But, 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 you get what I'm saying? So, and there was a black woman at that. So, and my, and it happens all the time in Atlanta. You can do your research, it happens all the time. A lot of these black women doing something right is getting scammed from their own kind. When I mean their own kind, black men, I had all resources just to find a home for their kids. So, so I, I, I'm going to agree and disagree with you. That's why I said we can't totally blame black men as well, too. It's a collective situation. Because you want to know why. The more fingers we're going to point, the more we're not going to be able to come down to the root of the issue. Now, Cece said it takes a village. We need to get back to that. She also states that some of us, unfortunately, cannot get family involved. We have to create our own black village and invest in each other. Yeah, but the black village start with the black man. That's the only reason why I'm, I'm blaming the man on this one. Never, I'm sorry. We are, we are the leaders in the community, not the woman. But here, I'm sorry. So here's the thing. Let's say you grew up and you didn't have a father to teach you the basis of that. Why is women choosing that then at that time? Time? Well, at the end of the day, let's say you grow up without a father. It's still your father's fault. It's his responsibility to be in your life. There is no excuses here. If your father is willing to stay in your mom's life, I can't mind you. Your father been around your life over 40 some years. Yeah. Same here. My father been around over 40 some years. He could have easily walked out, yeah. but he stayed. I'm, I, but, so I'm but, but, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm, let me come, come, come up on here because, like I said, I was raised by a single family at home. My dad, he didn't do his, like I said, my dad, my, I admit, my dad, he didn't do what he was supposed to do with me. But the thing about it is, I, I can. The thing is, you have to forgive from that. Even though me and my father's not talking, I don't. I don't hate my father for, for not being there. You know, I don't shame her or guilt him anything because he already knows what he did. Now, for that is, you know, you did what you did. Okay, you know, I can. I can forgive you of what you did. But like I said, we. But the thing is, we're not talking. So what I have to do is okay. For me, it's like okay. For me. I'm not gonna do what my father did. I'm gonna do the right thing. I'm gonna get married. I'm gonna have my kids, and I'm gonna be, you know, be good for my black community. I, even though, like I said, I, 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 I do to a certain extent about that, Ronnie. But the thing is about it, it's like, okay, cool. You, you, we just have to develop. Like, we just have to develop. Like, like especially our black kids, who's, who's, who's uh, being in a single parent a household, and make sure in our community, which is a village, we can, you know, a, a father figure can build that from him. Cause that's kind of helped me out of, of father figures, you know, my uncles, my granddads, and everything. They they helped me build that, um, and also, you know, my uh, uh, a, a late my late a late father of mine who died, you know, uh, back in two thousand and five. You know, his name is Dale Smith. You know, I have his middle name and everything. You know, he did a lot more things than my father could ever could. Um, you know, I and I used to have envy because of that, but it's like you know, you know, now it's like you know what. It's, I can't be mad at my father forever and ever, you know. I just have to have five show five forgiveness and just leave it alone, leave it alone and just say, hey, you know, if my my dad couldn't do it, but like I said, I'm gonna be different from my father, you know. I'm gonna do what it I needs to be done for me and also you know for my wife and for my black community because I was raised in a strong family. And this no, but I agree, but this is but this is my this is my thing, Jordan. Mm -hmm. The thing is man uses the excuse a lot. The woman pushed me out of the home. The woman, the courts, they, they use any excuse in the world, but like, Ronnie, you don't understand because the court situation. I say, at the end of the day, those are your kids, my dude. Those are your kids. And who cares about the courts? You take your court, take the child support, take the money. At the end of the day, you're not going to take me away from my kids. And this is why the problem is with the system today. A lot of people say, well, the courts tell me I got to pay $1,500 a month. I'm gone. You got my money every month. No, because at the end of the day, the kids still get affected. Money don't bring healing, bro. The father do. And, I, and I'm going to say this well, too. Ahead, and, and that's just tell me, it's like you say, either, you know, to the guys, like I say, you shouldn't have not kids. You shouldn't have kids with that woman. You know, you should have chose correctly because if you're going to have Facts, kids, Jordan. if, if you're going to have kids, you're just going to sleep around and have kids, you're going to have kids with any type of woman and you're going to have a kid and you found out, you know, the mother, she acts a certain type of way, 
that's your fault because you didn't put no condom on you didn't vet her properly and now now you have to you know you, you have to go pay it now you go you, now, now you talk you, you have uh the kids come out then the mother's acting totally like what i want any on you because you didn't do the proper uh vetting that you should you should do or you didn't vet her as as being a wife you just had sex you know uncontrollably and just having sex and here and there all the time so don't give it damn but the thing is it's, it's karma it's always gonna come back to you and then when when it comes back to you, it's like, oh, I can't do this, this and that. The thing is, it's like we hear this story over time and time and time from that man. But sometimes, you know, we we think we this like sex. We think of like having sex can cure anything, you know, because it feels good. But at the end of the day, we have a kid by a, by a chick, and then the chick does one eighty. It's your fault because you should have vet her. You shouldn't have, have had a one night stand or you know having sex without using the condom. Like I said, back in the day, we used to, you know, back in the 90s, I remember commercial was always, we used to say, wrap it up. Wrap it up. It's, you see that commercial come in, like, every every time commercial comes out, you see it, like, on MTV, BT, like, wrap it up. Now, 2023, we don't hear that no more. We don't tell our, our, our men to wrap it up or practice safe sex. We just, we don't say anything. They just go and have sex with no, no condom, and that's it. Hey, I did a reaction about a young girl on the video who gave a guy um, an incurable disease 